The good indication of my uh, tendency toward art was when I, I, I took this course, which was called Hypersonic Flow, which basically deals with like rocket re-entry flow around the vehicle. Right? It, it, it sounds as rocket science as it is, right? And I entered this exam and I read the question a few times. I didn't get anything like what I was even asked about, right? So all I did, I drew a very nice wing profile and a fantastic like flow representation around it just the, the drawing right so when the results came back it was saying 70 out of 100 and i was like damn how did i get such a high note because i felt like i didn't i didn't write any valuable information in that exam and the note on my paper was saying 70 for drawing zero for knowledge right <laughs> oh wow exactly that time i understood okay this is something i probably need to pursue it as my career right but again after six and a half years of doing something imagine and this is where additional stre- stress kind of piles up you studied for so long and now you're saying you want to do something different right it's very hard especially these days when it's such you know like these days it's even more dramatic because it's almost like you see all these YouTube celebrities or people doing po- like uh, streaming or doing like you know like with Instagram and fa- in YouTube it's much more obvious that there are there are people who are successful uh, and it's much more easier to get depressed because you think like damn I'm doing I can't do any of that right so at least I didn't know about like the other side of success I knew I'm not successful. And I just, and I knew I had this passion for drawing. So I started drawing again and I started painting and I discovered Photoshop in the meantime. So I started doing all these things. But then I had to go back to my country and I started to work as a graphic designer because what I was um, educated for, I didn't have any proper offers and I just didn't want to do it basically. And then at some point, a friend of mine made, made, I received this call from a friend of mine and he was like, Hey, remember like you were doing some graphic design and painting? So I was like, yeah, sure. I still do a little bit of that. He was like, damn, we need a person like you. We have like a small scale studio. I was like, even without hearing where the studio is, I said, yes, because I want, just want to do this. And it ended up being in, in Turkey in a very small district. It's very close to Syria. It's very close to where the war zone right now is. So we uh, the the reason why they made the studio there because it had like a huge industrial area there and all the companies they needed some sort of illustration or like graphic design lo- logo or something like that right so yeah and for two years I was there and this is, was the time when I discovered concept art because this is probably the first like the early beginnings of YouTube's and uh, uh, Gnomon was big back then so I saw this video where someone was doing concept art and I was like, damn, you can do money with that? I was like, the whole thing, like my my world completely switched over to something else when I, I saw that. And obviously I started watching videos. All I, I, I was able to do is just to watch the videos and start like practicing. Yeah. And at, and at some point, I think it was Fang uh, who mentioned that he's using like Wacom tablet. And I was like, damn, that's why my, my paintings look terrible because i don't have the the tablet but obviously it was damn expensive back then and imagine for a person who just starting out like like it probably was two salaries of mine like monthly salaries to buy one so i i i I collected the money i ordered and back then there's no amazon so even like if you order something you it it will take like three months to arrive right so and when the tablet arrived and i was like now i'm going to be the greatest artist and now I unleash my full potential just to realize that I made my first stroke and it looked nothing like what the professionals were doing. Yeah. And this is, was the turning point when I realized it's not about the tools, it's about the, the kind of fundamental understanding of main principles of art. So this yeah. is where I started actually uh, doing what we did in TED, but very uh, in, in a very unorganized way, right? I was just like, okay, I need to learn about composition how do i do that so i started reading books on composition started watching videos started practicing composition and just uh, trying to level up my fundamentals and it took two years and i gave up because i realized i don't have any talent to do this you know especially perspective was really hard for me to wrap my head around 
I just couldn't wrap my head around how can you have more than two vanishing points. For example, this was one one of my biggest struggles back then. And oh. because there was no one who could who was near me to direct me, I literally remembered giving it up. I was like, okay, well, I I think I have a potential, but it's not like something extraordinary. So I stopped doing that and I mainly uh, redirected my main focus towards graphic design, which which I was a little bit better at, you know, because in the end I was just dealing with graphic shapes. And again, now looking back, I understand this. My whole experience with graphic design was also helping me out to understand design principles, basically. Uh, but as a tool, I couldn't just master drawing and painting in Photoshop. It's just everything I did looked very much the values were off and stuff like that. Now I understand what was wrong, but back then it just looked to me that I'm not great at this, you know? Mm -hmm. And because there was no one around who could point uh, point yeah. out what, what I was doing wrong. I, I, I just basically, I stopped. Like for a year, I just didn't do any paintings. And then <sighs> after a year, I picked it up again and I, I was like, it was 2008. And I did a couple of paintings and I was like, damn, this is looking awesome, right? <laughs> well, it, probably it wasn't, but at least I was satisfied. I yeah. was like, I'm doing it. And then the more I was doing it, I, I started like, I think first time I posted online was, was late, mid-2009. 2000, and I posted my stuff and I remember my first post on CA Org was just black and white thumbnails. And people, wow, this is looking awesome, fantastic. And maybe like after five comments, uh, someone was like, hey, we would love to see your color stuff. And I was like, sure. And I had zero color painting. I was so terrible with color. Like, because I, I just I, I just mastered values. So my brain started to kind of see see the shapes and just in plain values. And color was a different beast, right? So I had to spend more time on color. But I think what, what was interesting that uh, with my art career, I knew that if I avoid certain problems I have, it's just going to hit me back, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. we cover up certain things we're not good at. We create a lot of excuses not to work on those because it's hard. You know, like color needs a year or two or maybe more of practice. Yes. And now, like after 10 plus years, as I'm teaching myself, I see this in students as well. You know, this frustration slash disbelief slash... Uh, insecurity and also the fact like that students sometimes realize that it's going to take a lot of time to master certain things uh this could be very discouraging for them and mm -hmm. i knew for me it was a long journey i still have a lot of things i struggle with but at least i'm ready to face those now you know like i knew it's going to take me solid few years if i want to master certain things but that's the way it is for some people it's faster uh, but some for people, some for some people, it's slower. But in the end, if you put your effort into it and you stay consistent and persistent, you can do that. You were doing it for so long without structure. Absolutely, on your own. I think as soon as you were given some structure, you were really strong within that structure. That was what you needed. Is that you've got deadlines each week, teachers, uh, curriculum. <laughs>